Hello friends, I welcome you to a new day. Jesus is Lord and his jurisdiction is global. Can we just go ahead and appreciate him, give him the glory, give him the praise, and thank him for the free oxygen he has given you and thank him for the privilege to see a new day. Somebody just help me and appreciate him. Glorify him everywhere. Can we set up our banners in the name of the Lord and glorify Jehovah, the one that dwelleth between the children, the God of wonders. Can we go ahead and appreciate him, go ahead Head and glorify him. He is the one that divided the race. Sea. He maketh what to seize in all the ends of the earth. Somebody help me appreciate him. Help me give him the glory. Help me give him the praise. For he is the beauty of Zion. He is the reason for which we are alive. He is the almighty God. Indescribable Jehovah is his name. Obstacle Crusher is his name. He is the glory of Damascus. Somebody help me appreciate him. Give him the glory. Don't get tired thanking the Lord. Somebody appreciate him. He kept you to this moment so that you can glorify him. We bow before your majesty. We worship you the glory of the burning bush. The one who divided the red sea. The one who gave Pharaoh a global disgrace at the red sea. We bow before you. We reverence you. We glorify you the God of all flesh. For with thee all things are possible. Thank you for being our strength. Thank you for being our hiding place. Thank you for being our present help in the time of trouble. We bow and we reverence you. Thank you our Father for being there. You have no part two and there is no one else like Jehovah. Thank you for being our light in darkness. And we say this morning had it not been of the Lord. Let a listener to this broadcast this morning say had it not been of the Lord. Had it not been of the Lord. When the enemy, when they rose up against us, they would have swallowed us. I say give him glory in a new day. He's worthy of our praise. He deserves the glory. The psalmist we say, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgiveth all thy iniquities? He healed all thy diseases. Who delivered our lives from destruction? Who filled our mouth with good things? Who renew our age like the eagles? Appreciate him. He is the life giver. Honor him. He deserves the praise. We honor you, Kadush. You are mighty on your throne. And there is no one to be compared with thee. We exalt the name of Jesus. Sweet Holy Spirit, we welcome you in this new day. I want to let you know we love you. You look beautiful in a new day. And you do it beautiful things. Accept our worship, my Father, for it comes from the depths of our hearts. Hallowed be your name, and blessed be God, for we worship with thanksgiving. In Jesus Christ's matchless name we worship. Amen. Now friends, let's do this song together as we proceed in our Father's presence. Let's go. Woody, mm. woody is the lamp. Woody, woody is the lamp woody woody is the lamp that was slain praise him hallelujah praise him hallelujah praise him hallelujah 
praise the Lamb. I say, Woody, Woody is the Lamb. Woody, Woody is the Lamb. Woody, Woody is the Lamb that was slain. Pray. Zim alleluia, praise alleluia, praise alleluia, praise the Lamb, praise alleluia, praise alleluia. Alleluia, praise God, Alleluia, praise the Lord, you are worthy, you are worthy, King of Kings. Lord of Lords, you are worthy, worthy. You are worthy, King of Kings, Lord of Lords. We worship you. King of kings, Lord of lords, we worship you. King of kings, Lord of lords, we worship you. This is Spirit Praise Daily Devotional and Spirit Praise Daily Devotional comes your way every morning to build up your spiritual capacity and network. It comes as a daily dose to strengthen your spiritual cables and wires and to keep you ablaze for God. All days, there's a kalash, abada bada, ha ha, bush, and And our topic for today says, be careful. They could grow into big issues. Malian de de bregados. Azuna na katiana na kale. Shikatia kagadabaga du shanda. And we shall take our Bible reading from Songs of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 15. And I will read from the King James Version and also the New Living Translations. The Bible says, Take us the forces, the little forces that spoil the vines, for our vines have tender grapes. The New Living Translations catch all the forces, those little forces, before they ruin the vineyard of love. For the grapes and vines are blossoming. I want to start by saying that God's desire is that no hoof should be left behind as we journey on this pilgrim path. As a matter of fact, our memory verse for today is a warning to everyone on the line, including Joy Obunaya, to do away with little, little forces that could damage the vine if we are carefree about them. It might interest you to know that the core objective of the little, little forces is to ruin the vineyard. It may be pertinent to note that these forces may seem little, but where we don't pay attention to them, their impact may bring destruction. Joyobunaya, uh, what are you saying? Now hear me again. If the little forces are not put to death, uh, they will grow into big forces. Uh, and then become a big issue. Uh, now permit me to bring it closer because these little forces uh, need to be exposed uh, to help us in our pilgrim journey. Uh, and one of these little 
forces is pride. He starts little by little. After all, I'm the only prophet in Israel. After God is me, Chai. Not knowing that God had over 7,000 prophets moving around in Israel at that time. Zikete Pelegedos, who had refused to bow down to Baal, not compromise their stand. No wonder the Bible says in James chapter 4, verse 6b, I read from the New Living Translations. God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. What about the little, little forces? of lies some believers after lying today will tell you it's a joke i don't mean it what made you to say it at the first instance if you don't mean it and if you know it is not true it is called little little forces hear me friend if such little little forces are left unguarded one day they grow to destroy the vines the Bible has warned us against lying tongues. Yes, some children of God must lie in order to make money. Chai. But this morning, I bring the word of God to you. God loves you and he's interested in every department of your life. And his desire is that you make heaven at last. That's why you must be careful with the little, little foxes. That spoils the vineyards. Because no liar has eternity with God. I say that again. No liar has an eternity with God. In fact, all liars will spend eternity in hellfire. And the Bible says in Revelation 21 verse 8b, and I read, And all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. What about the little forces that comes to destroy marriages and weaken the cables of your relationship? Sometimes your partner may not see anything wrong with it. Until the forces are done with the eating of the vine. And the walls of the marriage develops cracks and challenges. There's someone on the line that will never be your portion again in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Time will fire me to talk about the little forces that comes to cripple your prayer life, thereby stagnizing your faith. Why? Because you do not realize that an athletic prayer life will lead to an epileptic Christian life. You can quote me. The list goes on. Some believers today are still battling with some secret sins, which are little, little forces that may lead to spiritual slumber if not taken care of. What about the little forces of jealousy, envy, Unforgiveness, ungodly relationship. As recorded in the book of James, chapter 4, verse 4b, and I read Know ye not that friendship of the world is enmity with God? Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. What about the little forces of bitterness, hatred, witchcraft? The list goes on. But the Bible warns that they who do such things will not have eternity with God. And the Bible says in Proverbs 4 verse 23, Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. The reason we have been warned, 
to keep our hearts with all diligence is to ensure that none of the little little forces we are talking about this morning would have access into our hearts malia kagadaba talk more of breeding the little little forces that destroys the vines this is a clear and call to flee from every appearance of evil before the jungle matures and it is my prayer that everyone on the line including joy obunaya will pay attention to this warning in jesus christ matchless name i pray amen let us pray now just before we pray I would like to pray for someone on the line who has been battling with sin. Can I let you know there is a way that cement right unto a man, but the end thereof leadeth unto destruction. I want to plead on you to come to Jesus this morning. If you are still struggling with sin, I would quickly like you to pray after me. If you are a backslider, I encourage you to please join them. Now say after me, my Father in heaven, I come to you today. I'm a sinner, Lord Jesus. Please forgive me. Please pardon me. Come into my heart. Be my Lord and my personal Savior. And give me the power and the grace to follow you, to serve you, and to live for you all the days of my life. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for serving me. Thank you, everlasting God. In Jesus Christ's matchless name we prayed. Amen. Man, let's go. Let's send all the little little forces back in this morning in the tongues of the angel and by the authority in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody pray. Their days of oppression has expired. I say pray. Jesus must be glorified in somebody's life this day whatever is born of god overcome the world and this is the victory that overcome the world even our faith boost your faith in the tongues of the angels boost your faith in the place of prayer but the bible says in Jude 20 beloved brethren building up your faith in your most holy faith praying in the holy ghost somebody go in the holy ghost build up your faith no room for little little forces anymore they are not permitted to dwell and to tabernacle in your tabernacle give every little little forces a perpetual notice this morning to vacate they are all illegal occupants it's time to vacate lion tongue vacate sexual immorality vacate somebody pray jealousy envy unforgiveness bitterness wickedness I say vacate command them to vacate it's time to vacate for holiness to take over for holy living to take over two cannot work together unless there be an agreement somebody pray pornography vacate masturbation vacate I say vacate Sexual immorality vacate. Every spirit of unrighteousness. It's time to vacate. Little, little forces. It's time to vacate. Little, little forces that is of the vine. Your season 
of eating up the vine is over. I said those days has expired. Jesus is Lord. Over the life of his people. His jurisdiction is absolute. Over the life of his people. Thank you, my father. Thank you, my God. We give you all the glory. We love the way you father us. We give you all the praise for the privilege of being partakers of this great revival. Let your name be highly praised. Rent forever. The king that liveth forever. We honor you. In Jesus Christ, mighty name we pray. Amen. Make that amen louder from the other side. Amen. And I decree and declare to everyone who has listened to this broadcast that the little, little forces that is of the vine, I said the little, little forces that is of the vines in your life is hereby perpetually terminated. Is perpetually terminated. The Egyptians you have seen today, you will never see them again for life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Make that amen louder from the other side. Amen. <laughs> Friends, you can continue from here. Those are the echoes of revival. In our time. Go take charge of your day in partnership with the Holy Spirit. <laughs> With the Holy Spirit, with the Holy Spirit.